Chinese punctuation uses a different set of punctuation marks from European languages, although the concept of modern standard punctuation was adapted in the written language during the 20th century from Western punctuation marks. Before that, the concept of punctuation in Chinese literature existed mainly in the form of judu, simplified Chinese, judu traditional Chinese, judu pinyin, judo, literally, sentences and clauses. A system of punctuation marks denoting stops and pauses, though many works of poetry and prose, as well as nearly all calligraphic works, omitted judu marks, for in most occasions, it was not necessary to understanding meaning. The first book to be printed with modern punctuation was Outline of the History of Chinese Philosophy, Zhang Guo Zhe Zhe Shi Da Gang by Hu Shi, Hu Shi published in 1919. Traditional poetry and calligraphy maintains the punctuation free style. The usage of punctuation is regulated by the Chinese National Standard GBT 15834-2011. General Rules for Punctuation Traditional Chinese, Biao Dian Fu Hao Yang Fa Simplified Chinese, Biao Dian Fu Hao Yang Fa Pinyin, Biao Dian Fa Hao Yang Fa Shape of punctuation marks Many ancient Chinese books contain thousands of words with no spaces between them, however, when necessary to explicitly denote a pause or break, judu marks such as and quote quote were used. Similar to the development of punctuation in Europe, there were varying types of judu marks. For instance, a Song dynasty print of Chronicles of Huiyang used full width spaces to denote a stop, whereas a print of Jingdian Shi Wen from the same dynasty simply used and quote quote marks. Also, Ku Yuan's Li Sao used the character Shi and grammatical particles to denote stops, similar to judu marks. In Chinese writing, each character conforms to a roughly square frame so that the text as a whole can fit into a grid. Because of this, East Asian punctuation marks are larger than their European counterparts, as they should occupy a square area that is the same size as the characters around them. These punctuation marks are called full width to contrast them from half width European punctuation marks. Chinese characters can be written horizontally or vertically. Some punctuation marks adapt to this change in direction, the parentheses, square brackets, square quotation marks, book title marks, ellipsis marks, and dashes all rotate 90 degrees clockwise when used in vertical text. The three underline-like punctuation marks in Chinese proper noun mark, wavy book title mark, and emphasis mark rotate and shift to the left side of the text in vertical script. Shifting to the right side of the text is also possible, but this is outmoded and can clash with the placement of other punctuation marks. Marks similar to European punctuation Marks imported from Europe are full width instead of half width like their original European counterparts, thus incorporating more space, and no longer need to be followed by additional space in typesetting. U plus FF0 CFULLWIDTH comma is the comma. It cannot be used for enumerating a list. See enumeration comma below. U plus FF01 full width exclamation mark is the exclamation mark. U plus FF1 FFULLWIDTH question mark is the question mark. U plus FF1 BFULLWIDTH semicolon is the semicolon winking face. U plus FF1 AFULLWIDTH colon is the colon smiley face. U plus FF08 full width left parenthesis, U plus FF09 full width right parenthesis or parentheses round brackets. There are two kinds of square brackets. U plus FF3 BFULLWIDTH left square bracket, U plus FF3 DFULLWIDTH right square bracket. U plus 3010 left black lenticular bracket U plus 3011 right black lenticular bracket Other punctuation Other punctuation symbols are more different in shape or usage Punctuation marks 
Full stop. The Chinese full stop, U plus 3002, ideographic, full, stop, is a full-width small circle, Chinese, Zhu Hao, Pinyin, Zhu Hao. In horizontal writing, the full stop is placed in the middle, bottom left in mainland China, in vertical writing, it is placed below and to the right of the last character, U plus Fei 12 presentation form for vertical IDEOGRAPHIC full stop, in mainland China, and in the middle in Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Macau. Quotation marks In traditional Chinese, the double and single quotation marks are full with U plus 300 E left white corner bracket, U plus 300 F right white corner bracket, and U plus 300 C left corner bracket, U plus 300 D right corner bracket. The double quotation marks are used when embedded within single quotation marks. In vertical text, quotation marks are rotated 90 degrees clockwise U plus Fe 41 presentation form for vertical left angle bracket, U plus Fe 42 presentation form for vertical right corner bracket. In simplified Chinese, the European style quotation marks are always used in horizontal text. Here, single quotation marks are used when embedded within double quotation marks. These quotation marks are full width in printed matter but share the same code points as the European quotation marks in Unicode, so they require a Chinese language font to be displayed correctly. In vertical text, corner brackets rotated 90 degrees clockwise, are used as in traditional Chinese. Although simplified Chinese is usually written horizontally, corner brackets are commonly encountered in vertically printed newspaper headlines. Enumeration comma the enumeration comma, U plus 3001, ideographic comma, or Dun comma, Chinese, Dun Hao Pinyin, Dun Hao, literally, pause mark, must be used instead of the regular comma when separating words constituting a list. Chinese language does not traditionally observe the English custom of a serial comma, the comma before and or or in a list, although the issue is of little consequence in Chinese at any rate, as the English. A, B, and C is more likely to be rendered in Chinese as A, B, G, C, or more often as A, B, C, without any word for and see picture to the right. Middle dot Chinese uses a middle dot to separate characters in non-Han personal names, such as Tibetan, Uyghur, etc. For example, Nur Bekri. Nur Bikri Winking Face, the name of a Chinese politician of Uyghur extraction is rendered as Nu Er Bai K Li. Leonardo da Vinci is often transcribed to Mandarin as Chinese. Liao Na Duo Da Wen. The middle dot is also full width in printed matter, while the half width middle dot is also used in computer input, which is then rendered as full width in Chinese language fonts. In Taiwan, the hyphenation point U plus 2027 hyphenation point is used instead for the same purpose. Title marks for titles of books, films, and so on. Chinese uses full width double angle brackets U plus 300 A left double angle bracket U plus 300 B right double angle bracket and full width single angle brackets U plus 3008 left angle bracket U plus 3009 right angle bracket. The latter is used when embedded within the former. In traditional Chinese, single title marks are also used for articles in or sections of a book whereas simplified Chinese used double title marks for all titles. Wavy underline, U plus Fe 4 F wavy low line, is also used as a title mark, ellipsis. In Chinese, the ellipsis is written with six dots, not three, occupying the same space as two characters in the center of a line. Unicode provides an explicitly centered U plus 22 EF midline horizontal ellipsis character in addition to the inexplicit U plus 2026 horizontal ellipsis character, M dash. Similarly, the M dash is written so that it occupies the space of two characters in the center of the line. There should be no breaking in the line. Chinese dash is Chinese, po zhe hao, pinyin, pa zhe hao, n dash. When connecting two words to signify a range, Chinese generally uses a full width and dash occupying the space of one character, e.g. 1 u, 7 u, January to July, 
which can also be written 1U Dao 7U, with the character Dao in place of the dash. A single M dash character, or a tilde may also be used, wavy dash. The wavy dash, U plus FF 5E wave dash, can also signify a range in Chinese, e.g. 520 gz. 5 to 20 words. It is more commonly but not exclusively used when the numbers are estimates, e.g. circa dates and temperatures in weather forecasts. For the most part, however, the N dash and wavy dash are interchangeable, usage is largely a matter of personal taste or institutional style. In informal use, such as texting, wavy dashes are also used to indicate a prolonged vowel similar to informal English's repeated letters, e.g. wa, wa, or to indicate stress in places where English would employ an emphatic tone marked variously by italics or bolding, e.g. yao, I want it. Spacing Similar to the spacing between letters kerning in European languages, Chinese writing uses a very narrow space between characters, though it does not observe the equivalent to the wider space between words except on rare occasions. Chinese Particularly classical Chinese is thus a form of scriptio continua and it is common for words to be split between lines with no marking in the text equivalent to the English hyphen. When a space is used, it is also full width, U plus 3000, ideographic, space. One instance of its usage is as an honorific marker. A modern example in 20th century Taiwan, is found in the reference to Chiang Kai-shek as Xi'an Zong Tong Zhang Gong, former president, Lord Chang, in which the preceding space serves as an honorific marker for Zhang Gong. This use is also still current in very formal letters or other old-style documents, as well as religious scripture. When Chinese is romanized, spaces are used to assist in reading. Rules vary between systems but most commonly, as in Hanyu Pinyin, the spaces properly occur between semantic divisions, i.e., words, but in practice are often placed between phonetic divisions, i.e., individual characters. In the Wade Giles system, separate characters within a word were noted by hyphens, but this is increasingly uncommon. Typographic styles The following are commonly suggested typographical styles, however, they are rarely carried out in practice, often only used when necessary. Proper name marks and title marks are used mainly in textbooks and official documents in Hong Kong, Macau, and Taiwan. Proper name mark, underscore, underscore. A proper name mark and underline is occasionally used, especially in teaching materials and some movie subtitles. When the text runs vertically, the proper name mark is written as a line to the left of the characters, to the right in some older books, title mark. A title mark is a wavy underline, U plus Fe 4 F wavy low line, which is used instead of the regular book title marks whenever the proper noun mark is used in the same text, emphasis mark. For emphasis, Chinese uses emphasis marks instead of italic type. Each emphasis mark is a single dot placed under each character to be emphasized. For vertical text, the dot is placed to the right-hand side of each character. Although frequent in printed matter, emphasis marks are rare online, as they are not supported by most word processors, and support in HTML is in development. Apostrophe there is no equivalent of the apostrophe in Chinese. It is omitted in translated foreign names such as O'Neill. The hyphen is only used when writing translated foreign names with hyphens. Otherwise, it is not used in Chinese and omitted when translating compound words. Use of punctuation marks Several punctuation marks have ranges of use that differ from the way they are used in English, though some functions may overlap. The comma is used to join together clauses that deal with a certain topic or line of thinking. As such, what would appear to an English speaker to be a comma splice is very commonly seen in Chinese writing. Often, the entirety of a long paragraph can consist of clauses joined by commas, with the sole period coming only at the end. Unlike in English, a comma is allowed between a subject and its predicate. The semicolon is frequently used to demarcate parallel structures in a paragraph. 
Quotation marks, in addition to being used around quotations, are also commonly used for emphasis and to indicate proper nouns and titles. The use of a second m dash to close a parenthetical thought is rare. Instead, a comma is usually used, or sometimes no punctuation at all. In pinyin, the apostrophe, j yin fu hao j i n fa hao, syllable dividing mark, is before a syllable starting with a vowel, a, o, or e, in a multiple syllable word when the syllable does not start the word. It is commonly thought that this apostrophe should be used when there could be ambiguity regarding the syllables used, e.g., xian and shi, and er bing, and in bian, gan. See also East Asian punctuation, disambiguation, Line breaking rules in East Asian languages. References External links Zhang Ding Biao Dian Fu Hao Shou Si Shu Ding Ban Official Website of the Revised Handbook of Punctuation, December 2008 edition Zhang Ding Biao Dian Fu Hao Shou Si Chinese Punctuation Marks Manual, published by the Ministry of Education of the Republic of China Revised Handbook of Punctuation, was published in December 2008 by the Ministry of Education of the Republic of China, Taiwan. Zhang Hua Ren Min Gong He Guo Guo Jia Biao Zun Biao Dian Fu Hao Yang Fa The PRC's National Standards on the Usage of Punctuation Marks in Chinese. Unicode 8.0.0. The Unicode Consortium, 17 June 2015. Retrieved 9 February 2016. Released, 2015 June 17.